This is a short presentation to talk about enterprise architecture at the University of Michigan, why we exist, what benefits we'll bring, and how we're approaching the standing up of a new discipline here on campus. Enterprise architecture is part of the Next Gen IT initiative. Many people are familiar with this diagram, which we call the wedding cake. Next Gen impacts nearly all aspects of technology, from culture, organizational structure, and governance at the bottom, to specific products and services that you can see at the top. Since one of the first pieces of NextGen to be implemented was the rationalization part, many people associate NextGen with rationalization, but rationalization is just the green bar here, and it's only a small part of the full NextGen. If you go to the NextGen website, you'll see these bullets listed among the benefits NextGen is expected to provide. As you can see, there's more here than just rationalization, and includes things like propel innovation and deliver IT in new ways across campus. So in order to facilitate all the layers of the wedding cake, NextGen needs coordination or strategic planning across all these layers, which is where we come in. We're part of the strategic planning and we're tasked with ensuring there's a common and consistent technology architecture across the entire university. So let's talk about why enterprise architecture is important to NextGen. To do that, we'll look at some analysis Accenture did last year. They came onto campus and cataloged all of the services, the IT services that they could find across campus, and their words in blue, the state of IT at U of M is fragmented and inefficient. One of the things they did was they created this heat map that we're looking at here, and they went through all of the services on campus. They identified about 2,500 services, and for each one, noted whether it was provided by ITS, shared within a college school, shared across colleges, schools, local IT within a school or external outside of Michigan. And the numbers were pretty interesting. If we look just above here on the network telecom, you'll see that there are 125 different services within the network telecom area that they identified. And 18 were ITS and two were shared across colleges. And the other 105 were local within a college or school. And that was pretty consistent. If you look at data centers next, they identified 16 data centers that were either ITS or shared across schools and another 43 data centers that were inside a school somewhere. So another thing that they found was that there are 72 departments, 53 with less than three FTVs, very small. And this is one of the reasons you see so much redundancy is with 72 departments, you're going to have a lot of duplication, a lot of folks doing the same thing that someone else in another department is also doing. And so what we did is we took this data and we put it into this pyramid. People familiar with NextGen are probably familiar with a similar version of this pyramid. At the top are services that are less adopted, those specific to units, and at the bottom are services, community, toll goods, and then public goods, those things that are used by everybody across the entire campus. We made ours a little more to scale than the one you might normally see. It's still not quite to scale, but 85% of everything that Accenture identified is in that top unit unique portion of the pyramid. What does enterprise architecture do? Well, our mission statement is that we're a strategic planning function. Our job is to foster innovation and reduce redundancy by providing a strategic roadmap for IT initiatives campus-wide. We start out by putting together a future state. Where does the University of Michigan technology want to be? And then we look at new projects. And as we start up the discipline of enterprise architecture, we'll also be examining existing services. And then as new projects or as we examine existing services, we match them against the destination, the future state, and provide a roadmap like a GPS. Some of the things that we look at are resource brokering. Are there other folks we could put you in touch with who have done similar projects or part of your project? Are there existing systems already in place that you can take advantage of? Those kinds of things. Reuse. Again, are there components that you can take advantage of? Also, are there parts of your project that you could share outside of your department as a shared service, especially those things that are innovative? Data is very important to us. It's important that data is consistent, protected, hopefully one owner and one source, and then strategy and standards at the bottom. Are there things that you can do better to align with the stated university direction? 
Are there standards that you can follow that make it easier to implement your project, give you more functionality, make it easier to support, make it cheaper, those kinds of things. So the idea is to take all new projects and pass them through kind of a sieve and at least have enterprise architecture be aware of them. Now there's a couple of specific classes of projects that we'll look at. The rest, we're really only interested because we want to be able to broker them, hook up folks that might be doing something in a similar vein somewhere else on campus. But the projects that we consider architecturally significant that we really want to take a look at and make sure that they're pushing Michigan in the direction that it wants to go are those that are candidates for sharing across units and those that make use of enterprise data. So the idea is to go from this 85% of all services up in the unit unique to something that's a little more spread out, hopefully getting some of that innovation out of the units and across campus so that other folks can take advantage of it, reducing some of that redundancy and freeing up the units to be able to do more unit-specific, mission-specific work and not as much work that somebody else on campus has already done. And if we do this correctly, you'll see some of the benefits are listed here broader adoption of innovation and more time to focus on unit-specific needs, which I just mentioned, going through reduced risk and exposure, and better planning and coordination across departments. And that's our presentation on enterprise architecture.